Hey, welcome to another episode of Corvette Ed's Garage. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install lower fairing speaker adapters as well as a couple of JB, JBL coaxial speakers. I'm hoping that I'm going to get the thump that I'm looking for. And we'll see if these speakers can compete with those uh, expensive speaker options. Rockford Fosgates, which are around $400. Not these. Let's go! As you recall, I, I previously installed an Aquatec uh, stereo receiver as well as Hogtune uh, speakers. And it's not quite there. I, I, it seems like it's still missing something. And I think two other speakers added to the system is going to do the trick. So let's get to it. Now in this episode, we're going to get to installing speakers on the lower fairing. These are the speakers I'm going to be using. The J, uh, these are JBL GX 628s. They weren't, they weren't that expensive. I paid like 60 something bucks for them. They are coaxial. This is what I want. I want a little bit more bass to come out of my uh, my stereo system. Uh, nothing against the hog tunes. I really like the hog tunes that I put in here, but I'm looking for a little bit more bass. And these are the adapters that I'm going to be using to put on lower fairing uh, door blocks. Uh, whoop. Jonathan, just walk away. Walk away. You have a bolt here, and then you have a bolt inside the fairing. And then you have the two bolts on the other side, and you got three bolts here on top of the fairing for a total of seven bolts. And that's one of the things I like about Harley Davidson. They don't use a lot of bolts to fasten uh, their shit down. Unlike my Corvette, I don't know what the hell the manufacturer was thinking on that one, but I do appreciate Harley for keeping it simple. So, tools. Well, what I like to use is a quarter inch ratchet, a quarter inch six inch extension for the two bottom bolts located inside the forks, and a torque bit socket set. Torque head bolts are used to fasten the fairing down. Those are your basic tools that you're going to need to pull the fairing off. So once we remove those four bolts, we'll move on to the front three, the last three bolts left. Oh, now we got three screws here to uh, remove. And once that's done, the fairing will come right off. But you got to remember to make sure you unplug the uh, headlight before you actually pull the fairing all completely off. The speakers that I bought for um, the lower fairings, they are two ohms. Most of your Harley Davidson are going to work off the two ohm system versus the four ohm like a car. The two ohms, they call them loudspeaker for a reason. The two ohms really beef it up when it comes to loudspeakers. JBLs that I, I bought are actually 2.3 ohms. What you talking about, Will? Don't know why they're 2.3, but it's close enough to two ohms. So let's go ahead and take this off. Now these three bolts on top here have been replaced with uh, Allen head type uh, bolts and they also are longer with the windshield, the windshield tank bag, and I also have a mount for my GPS on the left hand side of the windshield. It really pushes the fairing out so I had to uh, get longer bolts to accommodate the uh, thickness. That's it. Pretty much going to pull off the Bra. Oh yeah. As you can see, the fairing's already starting to come off. Well, oh. well this one, huh? Now this, uh, I bought, uh, I forget what the company's name, but it's a, a perfect tint. It's, it's uh, kind of like a gray tint. Um, uh, it, it allows me to see at night. Now you don't want to forget to pull the or disconnect the fairing headlight from the fairing. Once you do that, I want to say uh, you can just pull the fairing right off, but for some reason it always gets hung up on the spotlight, so you kind of have to kind of wiggle it out in order to uh, clear the uh, spotlights. There it is right there. I can 
see it in your stereo. This right here, that is going to be the plug for my uh, speakers going to the lowers. Plug box removal. This front cover uh, needs to be taken off and it will ex expose two bolts that are connected to U-clamp that are clamped on the engine guard. And these are a small Torx screws. So now that we've removed the front cover, uh, it's time to remove the two bolts on the U-clamp. These are 716 nuts. And here's a better picture of the two bolts that's connected to the U-clamp. And those two bolts removed is pretty much what holds that fairing on top. There is one more bolt down below. Uh, it's a, a bolt that's on a clamp. So that's basically it when it comes to taking these uh, fairings off. As I mentioned before, Harley doesn't use a lot of bolts to fasten something down. And you would think with the vibration that a V-twin generates, it would be the other way around. However, Harley's been making these V-Twins for 120 years. They have it down to a science. There we are. Well, it's not necessary to just get the bottom one. This is because we're going to go right here. Uh, so let's get this on the uh, desk and customize that. Now that I have my glove compartment out, it's time to install the adapters. Speaker adapter installation, well, uh, it's kind of a tedious in a way because you really want to take your time doing something like this because you have to drill into the uh, glove box pod. Now the speaker adapters, I, I did buy these from an American company. I figure if anybody's going to have the correct mold needed uh, to reproduce these speaker adapters, it would be an American company. Nothing against the Chinese product, but uh, a lot of them are not that great when it comes to huh? sizing up things. When, uh, of this nature. So now that I have an idea of how these adapters are going to go on, I'm prepared to drill one hole, screw it down, and then I'll follow it with drilling the other two holes uh, to finish it up. Now we're ready to drill. Now I'm doing this by eye. Uh, I wouldn't suggest that to anybody else. Um, I'm pretty good when it comes to sizing things. Uh, I at least use a pencil to trace it to ensure that you're lined up correctly before you drill and not have any regrets after. Yeah, I know I should be doing pencil, but... I don't know what the fuck I do with a pencil. When the holes are done... I hate to do this. Because I'm cutting on the fabric. That's right, that's okay. With the holes drill, it's time to put the adapter on, go ahead and screw it down. So that's really all it took to get that adapter on. Pretty simple. Now I'll go ahead and do the other one off camera. Now you see how the process works. That's it guys. It's just that simple. So I'm going to test fit the speaker, make sure it inserts into the pod with no issues and Make sure that the uh, speaker adapter holes line up with the speaker. Hate right curves coming at me. And there it is there guys. And that's what it's going to look like. I mean for cheap sunglasses they don't look too bad. To be honest. And it will. There you go guys. So let me go ahead and start getting these uh, wired up and get the other side and then we'll go ahead and listen to them. Now in this part of the process I'm just going to solder the wiring to the speaker uh, probably about six inches and then use connectors to uh, inside the glove compartment that, that'll run into the stereo receiver. Now that we have the wiring completed on the uh, speaker uh, we installed the pod we're kind of just kind of letting it hang there because it's kind of a pain in the ass to put the screws in. It's not like the Harley ones where they make it really easy. It, it had the cover actually pops on. I don't really like that. I'm sure it works, 
but I, I, I opted to stay with the screw uh, type uh, fa uh, fastener. So uh, let's go ahead and get that started. So let's, let's hook up the stereo and hot to hot. And here's the fun part coming. Oh, my JBL is off, off centered. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, it is what it is. You know, my JBL is slightly off, so that's okay. My emblem, it is what it is on these. There you go. I thought this was going to be a lot harder. Apparently not. So at this point, uh, it seems like everything went smoothly um, until I tried the other side and it gave me a little bit of a problem. Trying to line up these screws with the holes, pretty hard to see at that angle. Other than that, there was really no other issues to worry about, but, yes, there's a but, uh, as I got ready to secure the f upper fairing to the engine guard, I noticed that uh, the further I pushed in, the beaker covers were hitting the uh, tank. So, and, and that could be rectified with different speaker covers. Uh, these were sticking out a little bit too much, and I kind of thought that might have had a problem with that but uh, I'll, I do have some speaker covers that I will replace them with and then, um, I'm not really able to get the top of the fairing in all the way in and it's really not that far away from the frame so um, after this I'll just re I'll replace those uh, uh, speaker covers with low profile covers so really the only thing left is to button this down head on over to the right side uh, install that speaker and button down the fairing on it and move on over to uh, and do the wiring now as far as the wiring is concerned um, I, I really didn't have that on camera however I, I, I will show you what uh, uh, how I wired it up to give you an idea and there's where the wiring is in these looms here um, going up into the uh, fairing. So that's both speakers. Not too bad, that's the wiring. Now these type connectors is what I use to plug the speaker wiring right under the fairing. You really can't see the connectors unless you stick your head underneath there and take a look and you'll see them. Then at that point you just disconnect it. If I have to uh, tear that whole system down, say the summertime, I'd say I don't want to have the fairings on then I can, uh, it's an easy disconnect uh, and I can drop the fairings. That's what it looks like. Also, as you can see right there and on the other side. I don't like the zip ties on the guard, but in the future I'll go ahead and uh, run the wiring inside the guards. So I just don't like wiring sticking out. If I get up, feel up to it. Well, if you lasted this long, you're anticipating to hear what these cheap sunglasses sound like. Well, I'm in the same boat as you. I, I, haven't, I haven't even clicked it on yet. We're going to share this moment together. Now, as you can see, the installation really wasn't that hard. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. I showed you how to do it. So, it's pretty simple uh, installation. I figured I spent about $150. That's, that's uh, buying the JBL speakers. Uh, buying the uh, speaker adapters, American made, and also the uh, speaker wiring, also American made. Anyway, now if you're not into something like this and you want a little bit more quality, well then you can go ahead and purchase the Rockford Fosgate, which is going to cost you about $400. Then you'll have Harley Davidson uh, install the speakers. I mean, you're probably looking at about at least two hours worth of work there. What is it, about 100 bucks an hour? So I, I figure you'll probably be spending about at least $700 to have the whole system uh, installed and out the door. $700 versus $150? I'll take the $150 any day and I think you'll do the same. So with patience and determination, anybody can do this. Now if you're not into the JBL, just remember one thing. You just can't go out and buy yourself a set of speakers and then drop them in the uh, stereo. you got to remember that the Harley-Davidson is a two-ohm system. So if you do buy speakers, make sure that they're two-ohms. It doesn't have to be JBLs. You could get yourself some hog tune boards or 7 inch boards, but make sure that they're two ohms. But let's move on to hearing what these puppies sound like. Now, the music I'm going to be playing is uh, non copyright music. So it's really hard to find good non copyright music. So it is what it is. Not my policy, YouTube policy. Blame them. Don't blame me. Let's hear it.
sounds great. I'm just blown away. I like to really crank it up, but it's, it's just going to distort through your speaker, so I'm not even going to do that. Uh, I don't even have it halfway there. It, it sounds pretty loud. Anyway, uh, this this was successful. I, I, you know, again, $150 versus $700. I'll take this any day with a little bit of my sweat. And I think you will, too. Well, guys, it's pretty much is a wrap. But wait, before you go, if you want to see me take out a gremlin taunting my Corvette the last episode, to watch this film here, this is an epic kill. You're going to enjoy this. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, all the above. And we'll catch you on another episode of Corvette's Garage.